What's going on guys? This is Kai Shiro. Welcome back. So for our video today, we are going to tackle what are the top 5 side deck cards to use or to play on our early stages of October 2023 OCG format. So I know that the format is still fresh and very new to us but I do think that these cards will give you the most advantage on your side deck options right now on combating the best decks on the format. So without further ado, let's start. Coming at number 5, we have uh, Droll and Lockbird. So Droll and Lockbird is here as a preemptive measure for the very popular purely, purely only lost one copy of Delicious Memory on the previous and recent ban list. That's why purely is still a very good deck to play right now on the format and many players are doing that right now. That's why Droll and Lockbird is here to answer the purely because you mitigate the hard advantages of purely using the Droll and Lockbird so that this deck cannot snowball out of control because if purely can snowball and can dominate the game you are very you are very in a tight position you will be put in a very tight position because this deck is a very good turn one deck can set up a very powerful board in the form of Neuer so yeah you, you need to have countermeasures when answering purely and also Pen Magi as well is quite popular right now in the format that's why I think Droll and Lockbird is a good answer to that as well and for a uh, general purpose of uh, counterfeiting the decks that likes to add cards for card advantages. That's why at number 5, we have Droll and Lockbird. Moving towards the number 4, we have Artifact Lanseya. So Artifact Lanseya is also here because Rescue Ace is still a very dominant deck on the format. The Rescue Ace only lost one airlifter and it is not a very good hit to answer the Rescue Ace to be honest. And it did a little damage only. To the rescue ace consistency so overall rescue ace is still a very powerful deck right now in the format that's why artifact and is a very good card to answer the rescue case because rescue is turbulence needs to banish cards in order to uh play its effect that's why Artif artifact and is your go-to option when dealing against rescue case and aside from rescue case which is a very uh popular and uh, powerful deck right now on our meta game we do have things like phantom knights as well very popular right now paired with Adventure and Horus and Sinful Spoils even though the Phantom Knights lost Rongo I think this deck is still very uh, good right now on the format because they, they have a lot of options with the Horus and the Sinful Spoils and Adventure so I do think that Phantom Knights is still very nice right now so Art of Kalansaya can answer Phantom Knights and also the Invoke Dogmatica Sinful Spoils which is very notorious for banishing cards using the Invocation so Artifical Lanseya is also an answer to this deck, which is kinda popular as well right now. So yeah, at number 4, we have Artifical Lanseya. Moving towards the number 3, we have Nibiru the Primal Being. So this also is a countermeasure for many combo decks on the format right now. Decks like Unchained and Dragon Link that are not that dominant or not that uh, really popular, but still represented right now on the format. You need to have Nibiru to answer those uh, decks. And also, a lot of decks right now in the format are uh, summoning up up to 5 times or more. Like the Pen Magi as well and the uh, Rescue Ace of course. Because Rescue Ace is very notorious for making a very considerable board. They can go into the lengths of Synchro Summoning using the Rescue Ace uh, Monsters and Aurora Dawn Package. That can go into Savage and Arclight and Dragster and they can even go to the SP Little Knight route where they link summon towards the uh, side of the field and go into SP Little Knight so that they can dodge uh, targeting negations like Imperm and Veiler for their turbulence. That's why Nibiru is a good answer to that. So overall, Nibiru answers a lot of deck right now on the format. That's why I do think that this is a very good card to include on our top 5 side deck cards on this uh, edition. So at number 3, we have Nibiru. Moving towards the number 2, we have Cosmic Cyclone. So of course, we need to respect Runic right now and Runic is still a very popular deck right now. Many people tend to play Runic because this is a very safe deck to be honest and most people doesn't respect the back row enough. That's why we need to put emphasis on respecting back row in order to not lose against a uh, very pesky and floodgate decks like Runic. Because if you don't have the answer to the Runic Fountain, you are pretty much screwed against the Runic to be honest because they gain 3 cards, 2 cards. Most of the time and they stun you to death using the floodgates and the banishing mechanic of runic that's why i do think that having cosmic cyclone is very good right now on the format and other than that other back row decks like labyrinth as well 
are very notorious for playing uh, floodgate cards like rivalry and other powerful trap cards on their disposal that's why cosmic cyclone is a good card as as well to answer them and also other decks like vanquishol tends to have a uh, floodgate purpose on their side side deck like there can be only one and as well as summon limit very popular right now so yeah we need to put respect on back row so that's why at number two we have cosmic cyclone moving towards the number one we have super poly so super poly is just here to be honest to answer the centurion of course because centurion is a very uh, rigid deck right now in the format this is a very strong deck and most people play this deck right now because you cannot deny the fact that this deck is an instant win deck the moment that they have summoned the calamity on their side of the field this is a very toxic deck to deal against right now and this matchup is very tricky if you don't have the answers to interrupt them that can uh, annihilate them and stop them from going into calamity that's why we, knew we need to have preventive measures to answer the centurion right now and super poly is my number one answer for that because super poly is super poly you cannot respond most, most of the time against super poly and yeah you can use the legasha and primera on their side of the field on that instance that can go into mandragon of the swamp and also garura is recently released on our ocg format so super poly is a lot times better than before because it answers more matchups right now even the likes of the horus orcus right now struggles a little bit against the super poly because they are centered around dark monsters on their orcus uh, line of play and also the ever uh, green tier laments and the coping mechanism of tier laments is still relevant till this date that's why many players are still playing tier laments right now so super poly can definitely answer tier laments by just uh, fusing, uh, fusioning their monsters Do, go, that, going, that goes into starving venom fusion dragon so yeah, Super Poly is very nice as well to answer those uh, add matchups, even branded, which is very still relevant right now on the format. So yeah, at number one, we have Super Poly. Just for the fact that it answers the Centurion matchup very well. So at number one, we have Super Poly. So short recap on our top five side deck cards right now on the format. At number five, we have Droll. At number four, we have Lanseya. At number three, we have Nibiru, the primal being. At number two, we have Cosmic Cyclone. And at number one, we have Super Poly. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you do learn something on this video. And thank you for watching this video. Hit the subscription button if you are not yet subscribed on my YouTube channel. And hit the notification bell if you want to get more updated on my future contents. So see you on the next one. Peace.